Why is philosophy of science necessary? There are many reasons. First of all, science has infiltrated in our world picture and daily lives through knowledge, education and technology. It is an indispensable constituent or even the structure of our civilization and culture. It is a good thing to know what science is, and philosophy of science is here to tell you this and to answer many questions about science, such as the following. Science ha has obtained a reputation of the epistemic authority in Western society, on which grounds? Particularly physics is held as the epitome of science that all other disciplines claiming for epistemic standing should or are keen to follow. What renders physics so special? Could and should indeed all sciences be like physics? Particularly taking into account the deep disagreements between different scientific disciplines as to their studied realities, methodologies and results. Finally, there are other cognitive endeavours, some of which also claim to be scientific or legitimate alternatives to science. How can we tell the difference? Where lies the boundary between science and non-science or pseudoscience? In the first part of this lecture, I will introduce Rein Vihalem's methodological classification of sciences and his concept of phi science. The concept of phi science helps answer the second set of questions posed above. Particularly, why is physics so successful as to be considered the epitome of science? And can or should other sciences be like physics? Phi science is a model of exact sciences such as physics. This means that it outlines the most crucial and essential features that underlie its reputation. It also indicates its premises and limitations. Other scientific disciplines can then be compared to this model. A small remark is in place here. In Vihalem, the term laws of nature refers to the mathematical laws formulated in physical sciences, the laws that are deemed to hold necessary. Hence, when talking about Vihalem's account of science, laws of nature always refers to laws of those sciences. The term itself will also be explicated.